Hello and welcome to today's episode of Together We Can, where today I'm going to be talking to you about marketing materials and what are the best ones to use for high conversion. So whether you're a cam girl, an affiliate, or you're just a user who wants to do a review site, whatever it is, if you followed our content strategy or you're looking at anything in the adult industry, then it's important to know which kind of marketing materials, such as banners, popovers, pop unders, and so on, will convert the most people. And I'm gonna jump into all of that right after this quick word from our sponsors, ourselves. Hey there, this video is brought to you by my very own Adult Cams Crash Course, which is an hour and a half long crash course, which is gonna give you everything you need to get started in the adult affiliate world as a cam affiliate. This means Chatterbait, Bonga Cash, Cam Soda, Live Jasmine, how to set up your content strategy, how to use Instagram, how to use Reddit, and how to use a full interactive content strategy to grow your business into a massive business in 2021 that will get you away from working the nine to five. And you can get that now for only $14.99. Yes, 50% off just by using the Together Cams code at checkout. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you enjoy the course and we'll have many more very soon. So when it comes to working in the adult industry in terms of being an affiliate, a cam girl, anything else, the basic thing you need to understand is that these websites, uh, you know, be it Pornhub, be it uh, Chatterbait, be it any of these, they're all very, very good at converting people once they're in their funnel. So they're gonna follow them up with the right emails when they click on something, they know how to change them into a different funnel, and they're basically going to get them to convert. So you can sign someone up now, and they may not spend for six to 12 months, but they probably will spend because these guys know how to convert. So your job as a cam girl, for example, is to get them to follow you, and as an affiliate, it's to get them to register. So all you are trying to do is get them into the top of that sales funnel and let them do the rest. So in terms of doing that, we want to take a quick look at what are the best and highest converting marketing materials to put on your website, blog, whatever it may be, to get people to convert. But there's a couple of things that you need to take into account, first of all. The first of these is mobile focus. Now, it's probably no surprise to you that a massive amount of users will see your content on a mobile phone or a tablet. And this is important to understand when it comes to choosing your marketing materials. More importantly, where to place your marketing materials. So you'll see on the article below in Together We Cam that we have a lot of site, uh, a lot of ads in our sidebar. Now we also have some of the same ads in our content and the reason we do this will be explained later but it's because of mobile phones. Now it might also be no surprise to you that when you set up your first blog or website 80% of your traffic or a minimum of 65% and above will come from mobile phones. So it's really, really important to make sure that not only does your site work on a mobile phone, but also that your ads are tailored to a mobile phone because the majority of your traffic will be coming from mobile and that's something that you really need to make sure you keep in mind. Now the second consideration to take into account is that you're not gonna get anywhere unless you have, of course, smash the like button below to help the YouTube algorithm put these videos out there. And of course, hit that little subscribe button and the, the bell notification thing. And another thing you should definitely do is go ahead and check the link in the description below to join our Facebook mastermind group where we're all helping each other and banding together to get as much money as possible for each other in that industry. The next thing to take into account, and you know, there are some ways you can work around this, is that ad blockers are now prevalent. Now, as the internet gets older and older, the customers are getting smarter and smarter, and the users that visit your site are likewise getting more and more intelligent. Now, a lot of people who visit these sites will use an ad blocker. Now, it depends on your site. For example, something such as Together We Can, because it's offering advice, this affects us more because people are generally just visiting without using an incognito window or such. However, if they're on Safari on a mobile phone, for example, an ad blocker is built in. If they're using Android, then the likelihood is less that they're using an ad blocker. But if you're using an ad blocker on your computer on Chrome, for example, you can imagine that a lot of other people are. Now, in fact, about 60% of Chrome users have an ad blocker built in, 
and anyone who uses an iPhone has it built in from the start. Now only around 10 to 15% of users of Chrome on their Android phone have an ad blocker built in, but that is still a massive amount of your audience not seeing your ads due to an ad blocker. Now, the good thing is there are ways around this. So if your content is more adult focused from the get go, if you're showing actual explicit content using say Vice Temple hosting, link in the description below, you will be able to get around this because when you open an incognito window, it hasn't got ad block, therefore the it's not gonna block these things. If they're using it in a normal browser, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and install something like ad blocker notifier light, which you'll find in the article in the description below, which will give people a pop-up and you can make this as firm or as light, you know, as please help us or as you can't view this until you remove your ad blocker as you want. But basically this system will detect an ad block and ask the user to remove it before viewing your content. And it's a great way just to subtly annoy people to a point where they're going to remove it. Now you can just take the chance that there won't be an ad block installed, but it's good to... Ice cream, class. Uh, but it is good to take proactive steps towards this. Now with those considerations kept in mind, let me run you through the three highest converting uh, marketing materials and a couple of honorable mentions. Now, when it comes to the easiest, simplest, and possibly one of the best converting, it is of course the old aged banner uh, type ad. So you've seen these everywhere um, and these banners can be copy and pasted. Basically, if you're working with Chatterbait, Bonga Cash, any affiliate program, one of the main simple things they're going to have is a banner and you can just copy and paste the code and put it into your site. These are high converting. I would definitely say if you have a WordPress site, put them in the sidebar. But another thing to keep in mind with these banners, given we talked about mobile focus, is to try your best to embed one or two of these in each post you do as well, so that when someone's reading on a mobile phone, they're seeing them while reading because your sidebar is gonna show up at the bottom underneath the content. So while they're done reading, then they'll see the banners. So that's not gonna convert as much. The other thing you can do is put a banner across the top of your site and these are incredibly highly converting. Now one of the things you can do with these banners to get around the ad block issue is to download the banner image itself, copy the paste, copy and paste the code into your site when you're adding it, and then change the link to the image out to one that you've uploaded to your site directly. Because the way ad blocks work is they have a list, a massive database of what they consider an ad. And if they find a link like that against the ice cream man, they will then block that ad. So definitely go ahead if you can and you have the technical ability and switch out those image links with the one that's uploaded directly to your site. This will help massively get away from ad blocks. And this ice cream man's really, really pushing me. See, that's a high converting ice cream man. The next on our list is by far and away the second most uh, highly converted of uh, these different things. So this will convert quite a lot and it is pop unders and pop overs. Now you'll find these on most uh, of the CAM affiliates along with a few other affiliate programs. And you'll find code that you could just embed on your site. You put it into the header or footer. And the way these work is when a user clicks a link on your site, it'll open a new tab. Now a pop over is where it'll open a new tab with your link or with say Bonga Cams uh, over the image. So the user will see it straight away. So it'll, they click a link on your site, the link opens in the current tab and it opens a new tab on top that shows the content that's in the advert itself. That is a pop over. Now I would suggest to use a pop under because I find they're more and more effective. The reason a pop over is less effective is one, ad blockers hate them and will remove them quite quickly. And two, because users generally see them as spam or an ad and they just X them out as quick as they can. Now a pop under, the way this works is, it opens your content in a new tab so whatever link they click, it opens in a new tab. So the user's unaware or happy that, okay, it just opened my content that I clicked in a new tab. And in the old tab, it loads the content in the pop under. This means that when the user closes the tab, they're likely to see it. They think, 
it's kind of a psychological thing if they think they've opened it before and they're happy enough to go ahead and interact with that without thinking it's some sort of advert. So pop unders are a huge, huge uh, high conversion method and they work really well for us on a few of our sites, including Galacticams, they work really, really well. And pop unders, because they don't take up any space, they're not that annoying. I would definitely suggest implementing them on your adult affiliate marketing site because they do work really, really well. Now, in my experience, the highest converting, if you're using a content strategy, you can use these and they work the best, are simple embedded links. These are gonna convert the highest because they're not in your face ads. And as the consumer has grown and you know yourself, you are, you, you just avoid ads subconsciously. So when it's embedded in a link in your piece of content, it's going to get the highest conversion because you're also giving the person a call to action in what they're reading at the moment. So this could be, for example, on one of mine here, I have uh, you know a piece of content that I'm writing about and I say, oh, and you know, Chatterbait are offering 20% commissions on all sales through your links. Oh, and you can sign up here and I have you can sign up here as the link. Now it might seem simple and it might seem obvious and it might seem common sense, but I can tell you from experience when it comes to marketing, common sense is usually the thing you should do. And those simple links are gonna be the highest converting of anything because one, they won't get blocked by, uh, blocked by ad blockers. Two, the consumer won't see them as a threatening ad or something that's gonna give them spam and they're more likely to click it. And three, it's a call to action directly in your content. The user's already engaged in your content and therefore are likely to engage with anything else that's relevant to the content they're already reading. So those types of links are best. Now, specific to CAMS, I have two honorable mentions. One of those is if you are creating a website where you're reviewing a CAM girl or you are a CAM girl and you're creating a site around your content, then please, for the love of God, embed the CAM room. Both, uh, all of them actually, Live Jasmine, Cam, uh, Bonga Cash, and Chatterbait Affiliates, along with Cam Soda, and all of them will give you code. And if you don't know how, you can just ask them and they'll tell you. They will give you the code to embed a specific cam room in your website. Now, this is really, really important because what happens is the user, instead of going to their site, will stay on your website and watch that content. This means the, that you're getting two things. One is, they're spending more time on your site, which means they're more likely to engage with your other content and your ads. And the second is, if they're engaged with your site, they're more likely to register through your link and then coming back later and going to Chatterbait under a different person's link and engaging that way. So you're capturing them on there. The second thing that from these cam sites is effective, but not highly effective, is the chat heads. They all have these embeddable chat heads that pop up in the corner. I have found in my experience, they're not massively highly converting, but it has caught two or three people a day out of say the 2000 that come through who do register uh, on some of our sites. And that's been really, really helpful because it could be one, those one or two that will spend a fortune. And because they don't take up much space and they work on mobile and desktop, it is worth just having them there to capture those one or two people who don't sign up. So those are the marketing materials that we find most effective. Let me know in the comments, which ones you find most effective. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much. We'll see you on Monday.